New at 5 o'clock, Denver police have sent the bomb-sniffing dog that attacked and killed a neighbor's pet back to Texas, where it was trained. 7 News reporter Lance Hernandez spoke briefly with the owner of the dog that was killed. And Lance, she says that pet was her 24-7 companion. Mike, according to this incident report, Officer Bradley Rhodes was getting ready to take Rita, a German Shepherd, for a walk. He'd issued a sit command, reached around to grab her leash, and as he did so, she bolted out the gate around that corner over there and lunged at a neighbor's dog. It was terrible. Here's the picture. Rachel Reinholson watched in horror as Rita latched onto Gomez, a Chihuahua Pomeranian mix, and shook him to death. I was crazy. I was angry. Reinholzen said that Gomez was a 24-7 companion for her daughter, who is in a wheelchair. It's just a very sad situation. We're very, very unfortunate. Denver police spokesman Sonny Jackson says the dog was trained at Lackland Air Force Base in San Antonio. This is YouTube video of some of that training. A Lackland spokesman says the Air Force trains dogs for the military and TSA trains dogs for police departments. We, we trust that they're trained well when we get them. Uh, we do additional work with them. We, don't, we pick officers who are very good with them. Jackson says what happened Sunday was an anomaly. you think it was a training issue or do you think it was just the dog itself? You know, it's, it's dogs have personalities just like any, any other living creature. And I don't want to speculate on that. I'm not an animal psychologist to know why the dog did what he did. Jackson says the officer who was handling Rita, Bradley Rhodes, feels horrible about what happened. He says Rita has been sent back to Lackland and won't be coming back to Denver. And we are told that Arvada police issued a summons to Denver officer Rhodes for having a dangerous dog and for a dog running at large. In Arvada, Lance Hernandez, 7 News. Sad story. Thank you, Lance.